balik lagi ke terminal 3 setelah 2 bulan gak kesini mau ke Kuala Lumpur dengan Brooklyn dengan maminya terus where are you going? ngapain ke Kuala Lumpur? aku sih main main terus main terus dia um, ya ini baru mau berangkat pagi-pagi sore sore pagi um, jam sepuluh sampai jam satuan ya, di sana ada kereta gitu katanya nggak tahu deh ini pertama kalinya jadi nggak sih buat apa apa yang bisa dilakukan ke sana anyway gue ke sana untuk World Urban Forum um, mewakili sama informasi tempat kerja gue baru yay Hi bro. Huh? What are you doing? Uh, going to check in. Well, already. Okay. So what are you going to do now? Uh, put your big luggage there. Dropping the baggage. Yeah. All right. Cool. My name is Dr. Shen Shapiro. I'm from London, um, despite my accent. And I run a company called Sound Diplomacy, and we've been very lucky to work with UNIDO on their first ever creative and cultural industries program. First off, the fact that it took this long, the fact, you know, so we are the fastest growing industry in the world, the creative and cultural industries, uh, worth what now 4% of the world's total economy, and growing at a faster rate than. A lot of other economies were involved in, from ICT to, um, to green technology and everything in between because again, culture is, is all of us. We are culture. Every time we open our mouth, we're expressing culture, hopefully in positive ways. 
Uh, and um, so I wanted to discuss uh, the project that we did. So we work around the world with cities and governments, um, exploring the role mainly of music in city building, um, capacity building, and, uh, and indexing. So we use music as an infrastructural tool to develop economic development in cities and places. Um, and we look at the role of music and culture as a tool to make places better. So UNIDO uh, has a project in Cuba, uh, and this was the first time that UNIDO approached the music industry as a test, I believe, as a trial, to look at how they could engage the creative and cultural industries the same way that any other industry has been engaged with for many, many years. Uh, they chose Cuba. Um, I'm sure many people in this room know the Buena Vista Social Club, right? No? I'm getting a lot of blank stares. Is it because it's Sunday at five o'clock? Okay. Um, some of us do. No, so, um, so we went in as a three-year project uh, to first map the Cuban music industry, understand the deficiencies related to um, not only Cuban policy, which is very unique, but also the uh, ability for artists to professionalize and businesses to professionalize. And we've been there nine times. Uh, we have four or five more visits. And in addition, we have developed Santiago de Cuba uh, into a, a city where music policy has been written into their greater city policy, so we've treated music like anything else. And now it's been adopted, and I know that there's a project uh, to look at other countries in this way. So the one thing is, is we, we want, we're very, very excited to have a seat at the table. We're very, very excited that music uh, and the creative and cultural industries can contribute to the development of cities from a heritage and tourism perspective, and the presentation of Malacca was very exciting. I think there's a, I wanna go. And, um, uh, and in addition to that, uh, any other city that's trying to create jobs for youth, uh, Malaysia, what, Malaysia and Indonesia, the nearly two thirds, or at least 60% of the city population are under 35, uh, using music and culture as a tool to um, to essentially create jobs and skills is very, very important. And remember that music and lots of other culture has half as, as a very industrial um, element to it. Making music is, in fact, a mathematical as well as artistic practice. It requires those types of skills in the brain, uh, let alone the same with graphic design, painting, um, theatrical performance. And if we're looking at ways to develop um, and regenerate areas, if we're looking at how to animate main streets and animate pedestrianized areas, uh, if we're trying to understand as well how we can encourage sustainable tourism, we should be looking to festivals, we should be looking to street performance, we should be looking to putting artists in disused spaces and getting them to make stuff. Uh, because that is what creates the culture that brings people to places and that is what creates the economy that allows people to develop within cities. So we're very, very excited that UNIDO has taken this initiative to involve the creative and cultural industries. I feel very blessed that we're uh, one of the key partners in this. Um, we're really excited to see what happens in Cuba. Unfortunately, when it comes to music and the creative industries, it takes a little while to know what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's not an immediate, uh, you can't just have an app and people download it. It's, uh, it, it's not an immediate uh, economic swing. It's more of a, what we would call a long tail business but we hope that this is the beginning of a very uh, fruitful trend to involve music and, uh, and other cultural industries in this. So thank you so much for having me, and, 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 uh, and again, and really fantastic learning about all these initiatives in Malaysia and the Philippines and everywhere else in the world. Thank you, Sean. That's, that's, that's...
Where are you? Airport. Which airport? Palumpur Airport. Where are you going? Uh, home. Where's home? First to Jakarta. And then? Then go to Bandung and then go to Lembang. Oh, still far away, baby. Kiss long. Oh.